know, you know, I've moved out with my girlfriend. That's a big deal for me right now, man. Moved out with my girl, you know, and uh, it's a big deal for me because I'm only 28. And uh, (laughs) you guys are from Miami. You know what the fuck I'm talking about, man. (laughs) You're from Miami, and you're a dude, and you're only 28, and your girl's not pregnant. There is not, there is, for real, there's no reason you should not be living with your mom right now, right? (laughs) Yo, I moved out like a year ago. I still have family confused, man. I still get cousins like, yo, you moved out? <laughs> well, you got in a fight with your mom or something? What happened? <laughs> like, no, nah, man, I just moved out, man. I'm just trying to do my own thing and shit. <laughs> no, nah, he got in a fight with his mom or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> moved out, man. This shit's nice, though, man. You know, it's fucking nice. I got, you know, I got no control over anything. In my house, man, I'll tell you that right now. I'm, I'm a grown man, but I'll tell you right now, I got no control over anything. And I knew that was going to happen. I knew after a certain, you know, because everybody tells you when they get married or you move in with your girl. If, if dudes are real with themselves, they'll tell you, like, yo, she's got total control, man. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't know it was going to happen so quickly and shit. Like, I thought it was going to be after a certain long period of time. But that shit, apparently, it was in my lease. I swear to you, I had to go through the contract again. I was like, first and last month, security deposit, association fee. Oh, yeah, my nuts. Yeah, look at that. (laughs) Now, you're right, baby. You can put that wherever you want because I got no say in nothing. The one thing I got control over, man, is the one thing I've never had control over in my house. The one thing is the thermostat for the first time in my life. I get to control the thermostat because I've lived with my, you know, I've lived with my parents all my life, man. So if your dad is like my dad, you can't come within 90 feet of that fucking thermostat. <laughs> my dad had like a chip in his brain and shit. Whenever somebody got close, it didn't matter. He was sleeping and he was taking a shower. You know how many times that dude would come out of the shower buck naked, dude? Like, what are you, yo, what are you doing? You touching that? What are you doing? What are you doing? Like, ah, ah, hey, hey. Dude, you got to cover that shit up. <laughs> Tell you, man. That, I don't know. My dad's room was right next to my room when I was growing up, right? So all my life, if I ever tried to think about changing the thermostat, I would have to wait till like three in the morning. And then like slowly like, yeah. But somehow, somewhere, man, the moment I touch the thermostat, he'd come out like, what are you doing? Like, what? <sighs> I'm making it warmer, dad. It's freezing in here. You don't feel that shit? What do you have it at, 82? We gotta, whew, We gotta put this to 90, dad. It's freezing in here. Yeah, no, it's freezing. 82, that's why my dad has the air conditioning. 82, living in Miami, 82. It is 78 outside. (laughs) It would actually be colder if you just turned the whole thing off. Not my dad. My dad's like, are you crazy? Have you seen the light bulb? Are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy, man. I just, I don't, I don't want to wake up from a nap with a wet spot on my back. (laughs) Fuck. If you wake up from a nap in the afternoon and the first thing that comes to your head is electrolytes, that's a fucking problem right there. If you wake up and you're like, oh, I fucking need Gatorade. <laughs> what happened? You run a mile. I just took a nap, son. Woo! <laughs> There's a problem, man. And my girl's got to let me, tr- you know, the thermostat. She's got to give that up to me because she's always cold. Like, regardless, it doesn't matter. It could be 82. It could be 90. She's always cold, man. She's, and she'll be quick to let you know she's always cold, man. She's like, ooh. First, she starts that shit. Like, ooh. And then she's like, I'm cold. She tells me, like, hey, I'm cold. I'm like, oh, what, what do you want me to do? Like, no, no, I just want to let you know I'm cold. <laughs> she tells me at the movie theater. Like, she tell, like, I don't know, like, I don't know why. She takes a jacket everywhere she goes, except places that it might get cold. <laughs> but we, <laughs> I swear to God, we, I, she, we go to the movie theater, and she's like, it's cold. Why well, didn't you bring your sweater? Oh, I just I didn't think it was good. But it's cold. <laughs> I can't do nothing, baby. I can't. I don't control a thermostat in the, in the movie theater. I don't. I just want to let you know I'm cold. <laughs> and then we'll be watching the movie, right? And she'll be like, ah. she'll do this thing with her shoulders, right? Because she, at first she doesn't want to talk during the movie, but she's like, ah. this is just sign language for I'm cold. That's what that shit means right here. This is for like the hearing impaired. And then she'll talk like, baby, baby, baby. I'm like, what, what, what? Are you watching the movie? Yeah. I just want to let you know I'm cold. I want to tell you that in case you miss something in the movie later, I'm going to ask you what happened, but you don't know what happened because I'm telling you I'm cold right now. <laughs> Fuck, all right, I'm cold. She takes, she takes uh, anywhere, man. It takes a sweater everywhere except the movie theater. Anywhere, it doesn't matter. We could go anywhere we want. It's 80 degrees outside. I'm like, why are you taking a sweater? Oh, you never know. Yes, we do know. 
This is Miami. It's August. There ain't nothing. There's no, there's never been a time in history where in Miami during August it just dipped 25 degrees <laughs> in an hour. Like it just what happened? It was 85. Now it's I don't know. I can't even do the math. I'm just saying you it, it's just never happened. It's never ever happened. Doesn't matter where we go. It's like where, where you why are you taking a sweater? You never know. We're going to the zoo, as a matter of fact. I do know. You know it's fucked up when the lions are like, what the fuck is she doing with a sweater? I don't understand what she's doing with a sweater. <laughs> 